Mobility and climate change was the topic during the week of the 105th session of the International Organization for Migration, IOM, at the UN in Geneva. On Wednesday, the Apostolic Nuncio of the Holy See in Geneva, His Excellency Archbishop Silvano Tomasi, addressed the conference. In fact, it is a well-established fact that migrants can make an even richer contribution when their dignity is respected, integration in their country of residence is favored, their human rights secured, and the development of their talents and energy encouraged. From migration control and the use of the rising number of migrants dying in transit toward a dream destination as deterrence, we must strive to regulate openness and devise legal ways to facilitate mobility. Respect for the human rights of migrants, it is not just a responsibility we all share, it is an ethical duty. On Friday, Ms. Pictet Altan, ambassador to the UN Geneva of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, shared the IOM's concerns. During the past year, new multiple complex emergencies caused by political upheavals, armed conflicts and natural disasters have placed unprecedented pressure on the international humanitarian community while old crises remain unresolved. The Order of Malta and IOM are engaged in many of the same areas, working side by side in emergency relief to alleviate human suffering. Our global activities focus on relief and recovery in areas such as reconstruction and rehabilitation, health care, nutrition, water sanitation and hygiene, livelihood measures and social programs, as well as the promotion of disaster risk reduction. We also share IOM's view that a comprehensive approach that includes peace and resilience building is essential. In concluding, I wish to emphasize that the Order of Malta supports the Director General's commitment to ensure that migration occupy a central role in the post-2015 development agenda. Johann Ketelas, Secretary General of the International Catholic Migration Commission, ICMC, called for leadership. The effective responses grow or die on two important tools and logics. Clarity in governance is one, and respect for human dignity and life is the other one. Governance is not just about a good diagnosis followed by adequate prescription. Prescription has to be followed by the actual swallowing of the medicine, which is to say, by consistent action. There is today less urgency for new conventions than there is a need for clarity and for their implementation. Together with our partners in civil society worldwide, we re-emphasize and would like to improve the day-to-day, on-the-ground, concrete partnership with IOM. It is today not so much a question about who is the leader, but about following the leader. The delegation of the Holy See also hopes that good sense of the international community will prevail, that dignity has no nationality. It is equal for every person.